Hello, beautiful soul. Hello, hello. What a wonderful day it is to be here with you. <sighs> hmm. Hello, welcome, and enjoy. Okay. <laughs> There's a whole thing when you go live that you have to do. It's like a whole little thing. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to my area of meditation. A time that you are welcome to take for yourself in this moment to just breathe, feel into how you're feeling today, feel into maybe what you are avoiding today. Feel into where within you needs to be felt. How are you? What are you ignoring? Here's some energy cleansing for you. I am conflicted on the sage. <laughs> I keep learning things about, about it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Speak about another day. Blessings, so many blessings. Mm. Just take the time to notate what you would like to feel right now. What's missing in your day right now? It's all so accessible. It just takes you notating it, you noticing it. And then you can have it and here we are at noon there's so much left in the day so let's figure out what you need let's figure out what you would like to take with you during this time Ooh, take a nice deep breath and exhale Take a nice deep breath and hold it at the top. And exhale. Mm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Just feel into this moment. that you are supported, you are guided, you are loved, every part of this journey. Keep blessing your vessel with a deep breath that it so wants, that it craves consistently intentional breath into our bodies
Send yourself so much gratitude for being here. in this moment breathing gratitude into our vessels into who we are and spending this time to notate self-love how you feel within yourself how you intend to feel within yourself showing up for yourself and saying you know what I deserve this this time I deserve this attention I've learned that through my my um, research and just being around people in general. <laughs> um, people are afraid of the spotlight. People don't like the, the attention. And I think a really big important part of life is going to be about you giving yourself that attention giving yourself the spotlight every now and then that way when you're out and about and someone compliments you or someone gives you some light you're not so shy or so um just second guessing about taking it because you know you know deep within that you are that goddess you are that powerful being and you know it and someone is witnessing that in you today and so there's the blushing and the oh my goodness oh my goodness but don't be surprised, beautiful soul. That is you. That is literally you. So accept that compliment. Accept that love. Show up as who you are and just bask in it. And do it Do it more often with yourself. Love yourself. Bring yourself the light that you get from people complimenting you. <laughs> It's so funny. I witnessed that in myself. So I do want to pull from this this amazing oracle because it always gives a just great message. But I also did come here to as well um, talk about love, love in general. We are in the seventh house. So Venus, the planet of love, is in the seventh house right now. You might feel love sick at this time, or you might feel sick of love <laughs> at this time you might be just so engulfed in love right now that you don't even you don't even know but if you are single and you're not around someone you might just be like oh i want to love i want to be loved why can't i love that's the vibe and it's in virgo and virgo is very like this is what i want i want this right now i want it oh my goodness um and so oh that's wonderful actually to, to have come up as I'm speaking of love, we don't even get a love reading. We get something that is even more powerful. But yeah, that's the energy we're in. If you're feeling super in love, we're going to talk about it in a moment. Right now, we have the Healed Lineage card. So this is also a very important mission that we all have been on this year, last year, year before. Not all of us, but many of us, uh, especially within my age range, 30 plus. Uh, we are going through the generational healing that it takes to truly ascend as human beings like we don't just get to heal ourselves self-heal and then go power the world no we have to heal ourselves power the world reach back heal the lineage while we heal ourselves reach for the world like it, it's it's a whole thing we don't get it's not as simple as just loving the self because we gotta we gotta reach back to the ancestors so it says my ancestors past present and future are invited to move into healed space now as i unlock the keys to karmic patterns and recode my lineage for peace oh my goodness as my ancestors heal all generations backward and forward find their way to light wow and see this actually is why i don't come with topics to talk about because because we can go on about this right here because the universe always comes with the messages the ancestors are saying like 
you've done a lot you've done a lot and in that space that you have taken to heal they get to come in now and experience that light they get to come in now and see what you've done and feel what you've done and just be able to vibrate on a higher light imagine your generations ahead of you of this time if you're a woman or a man and you were older and you're thinking oh my gosh i'm so old <laughs> i'm so old and i don't have children yet and it's like it is okay every layer of yourself every layer of your lineage that you heal your child in the future gets to reap the benefits of that okay so if you think you're out here healing all kinds of trauma for nothing if you think you're alone and that this is for nothing you are so so misinformed my friend you are powerful what you are doing for yourself is so powerful I'd even say just like sickeningly powerful okay <laughs> when you wake up and you think oh I don't want to I don't want to show up for myself I don't want to meditate today I don't want to do the thing I love today you're you're doing a lot of people a disservice because your light heals everybody everyone you come into contact with everybody and you know it's actually kind of sad that we have to teach ourselves how to slow down and give ourselves what we want slow down and give yourself what you want feel yourself feel your soul feel who you are feel your light that's what you're here to do and then the residual energy the residual outcome is that everyone else gets to feel the love your lineage gets to feel the love your um your ancestors your, the spirits that are with you they feel it they're like jeez i mean we're all in this together but it's like oh my gosh finally right <laughs> it can seem like a lot of work Whew, let's breathe on that healed lineage that's wonderful I thought for sure a love card was going to come out. Ta -da -da, let's breathe on the lineage. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Absolutely beautiful. They're sending so much gratitude to you right now. You may not be able to name them or even know what they look like, but your ancestors are with you. And they thank you for the new light that they get to, to feel. <laughs> many blessings. So let's talk about love. <laughs> love and self-love. So I'm always studying people to understand why, why they think the way they do, why they do the things they do, which has always been a hobby of mine. And one of the big questions that it comes up to when it comes to love is that people want to ask just so deeply of what what can I do to attract what it is that I embody and that I want and that is exactly the answer what is it that you embody like what 
energy are you putting out into the earth into the other souls that is screaming i am love i deserve love i am embodied in my love and i know what i'm worthy of when it comes to love are you embodying that or did we just create some kind of awareness that ooh, maybe i can work on how i'm exuding love out into the planet in this place that we are in in this age that we are in it's just so easy to to go to the digital aspect and look at people's attributes and say oh that's the kind of love i want but i'm just i'm here to tell you and here to just draw it and weave it back in that self-love is your foundation self-love is going to bring you to your love I'm not, I'm sure a lot of people do meet online and it's beautiful, but when you are loving yourself and you are out in the world doing your thing, just living, vibrating on this powerful, just light, your love is going to find you. They're literally right there. And so one of the main things that I just always want to bring back to love and self-love, which I never talk, I rarely talk about love, but we are in, Venus is in the seventh house, so I want to help you guys. <laughs> um, we, it just always has to come back to self, literally always. It always comes back to self. If you are attracting somebody that is the embodiment of everything that you do not want, ask yourself, what on earth? are you putting out what energy are you putting out and what energy are you putting into yourself how can you pour that love that you are craving that you need so much how can you pour that into you today you today and that could literally look like writing it down right now getting a piece of paper and writing it down on a piece of paper what does love look like to me what what is a love connection for me and then give yourself that stuff okay go outside or go to an event and s just see how the other humans interact with your energy now that you've lifted your love in such a plane what I've just laid out is just such a really simple simple um, situation that actually leads to the most powerful of shifts within yourself is itemizing something and then uh, creating a plan around it itemizing and taking action you can do that with your love and it starts here it starts right here right here with yourself <laughs> uh, there is someone I've been working with for a while and they're just like I'm tired of loving myself I want a partner I'm tired of loving myself and it's like unfortunately we just sometimes it takes much more time and the real question honestly is how often are you out in the world are you going to events are you going to see people are you planning things or are you just sitting at home uh, scrolling on Instagram, scrolling on whatever, looking at other couples and being like, I want that, but I can't have that. Like, how do you expect to meet anyone if you're not out, if you're not doing something? It's just so silly. <laughs> You've got to get out there. Go be seen, darling. Go be seen. <laughs> so just bringing it back to the self-love, it's just just so empowering and so enlightening so what I want you to do is to just take the time to think about what love means to you you may have done this this summer during the Venus retrograde but now that it's in the seventh house like Venus is really pushing us to love ourselves it's pushing us to love love like find a partner this is that cuffing season situation that people talk about like it's getting colder and so you're like trying to grasp on the someone else Oh my goodness, love yourself enough to be careful of who you bring into your cuddling environment, okay? Because it's not worth it. It is so not worth it to go backwards in terms of vibration and match of who you are. 
I vibrate on such a high level when I leave the house. Like, I really rarely get hit on. I actually just rarely do because I really don't think that there are even enough <laughs> men out there that are like, oh, whoa, look at that big energy. Let me go get her. I think it's a really beautiful um, shield. It's kind of like, if you're not here, do not come do not come to me. Do not come up to me. So when people do approach me, I'm like, oh, my people, yay. It's wonderful. It's great. You'll, you're going to love it. <laughs> this is what happens when you, you're just foundationally connected with who you are attracted to and who you are, friend-wise um, and relationship-wise, business-wise. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. If you were starting a business and you were hiring a assistant do you think that your assistant is going to be the first one you hire no way <laughs> just no way you got to be vibrationally aligned so anyway i hope that that kind of uh enlightened you a bit on love i just i just see this huge epidemic in our society that is about i want to love i want to make children i want to have sex and you know have all those three things but there, there's no foundation built there's no plan there's no it's just two people sitting next to each other assuming that they can read each other's minds or assuming that they they're on the same page um and then time goes on and then all of a sudden you've been just bumping elbows with this person for years and nothing's been accomplished it's just like this partnership of of sex and then raising a human and like it's just very um the love isn't there because the two don't take the time to love themselves they don't take the time to um get to know themselves outside of the relationship and so that's why a lot of this stuff is crumbling because it's like i don't know you you don't know you <laughs> I don't know me, you don't know me, no one knows each other, like, we can't create anything here now, and then now that there's, like, this ye years of foundation of just nothingness, how do you build forward with, with standard communication here, how do you go forward, what can you do, and so it always just comes back to self-love, so there's that aspect, too, of, like, if you were if you were in a super long relationship and like the relate the communication was not there or the alignment the self love the individual self love was not there and you're like oh i hope it happens in the future i'm going to give you a glimmer of hope maybe if both of you are working on each other really working on your self love and how you can show up in a relationship with new found self love now that you know that you can't love any you you have to love yourself first so you've taken time aside to love yourselves and now maybe you have a chance now you can probably you can be next to each other without bumping elbows and being like cool we're just next to each other living life like <laughs> now you get to do things out of love because you're both in this contract essentially of like i want to live this best life if you're not next to me living your best life and cheering on my the living of my best life we don't need to be next to each other like i'm not doing it so and in the moment that changes you have you have the awareness you have the self-love to be like nope nope i know that i don't i don't align with that i'm not doing it i know things were great in the past but they're not do they're not great now how can we fix this <laughs> like you don't have to settle for a thing not for a moment not for a day not for a second the second you feel that something's off communication let's go get it out because you don't deserve like we've learned that life is short we learned that life is so short and yeah we don't have time to be to be wasted <laughs> whoo that's a lot to breathe i could talk about love all day because i went through a whole a whole thing but you know haven't we all haven't we all <laughs> so uh, let's breathe on that let's definitely just take a moment and just feel what that love feels like think about what that love that you're calling in feels like and what that love that you're calling in truly is 
itemize it see what it's like grab a piece of paper write down what love means to you right now while this venus is in the in seventh house you don't have to get taken away by this love or get i'm i'm putting out a cautionary tale for the women that are about to and the men that are about to hook up and then get get locked down somehow <laughs> don't do it <laughs> unless they align with the list that you are about to make or the the embodiment that you're about to create okay please don't settle there's no time you, there's no time to settle none you're too young darling you cannot okay let's breathe into this take a deep breath right now hold it mm, feel that love <sighs> And exhale mm. inhale love and exhale any stagnancy that's keeping you from that love mm. inhale <sighs> and exhale anything that is not the very love that you desire mm. we're not taking almost we're not taking Oh, you know, well, they do this, but, you know, they also, no, no, you're getting everything you want. You get everything you want because you match yourself here. So <sighs> stagnancy gone. <sighs> no settling.
invite that deep breath of love a few more deep breaths of love you know what you desire You embody what you desire. You are love. Beautiful soul, you are love. And when you leave where you are, when you interact with the other souls, they feel that love. They feel you. Your ancestors feel you. They're guiding you. They're protecting you. And now they get to be in this light that you've created for your lineage. You did that. It's amazing. <sighs> and you get to step into the love that you deserve, that you desire, and that is rightfully yours, because it's already here. You just now get to find someone who matches it, matches that powerful light that you bring. Mm. And you are worthy, you are worthy of an equal match. <laughs> love is so beautiful and I am pushing that I am just pumping all of it into you love is so so beautiful <laughs> ah wonderful I hope that you have the most amazing day ever and I hope you're able to write down some things that that will help you enjoy this moment enjoy your day <laughs>